Well, hello my friends, this is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband. Once again, if you're watching, thank you. I'm glad you're there. Uh, this video right here, at the, at the beginning of it anyway, is just gonna be a, a barrage of a bunch of little things. Um, once again, I worked a long week, and I know you guys are probably getting tired of hearing me talk about working. Uh, we all have to do it, but I did. I worked a fairly long week, and I'm a little tired, but there's a lot to do today as well. So, we'll power through. Michelle is pretty tired too. She doesn't sleep well. First off, I guess, what I'm gonna show you is some of our plants. Our plants are doing extremely well. Almost to the point of being too well, like, did we start them too early? I'm gonna show you some tomato plants. I did not write down when we started these plants. This one right here, literally, from the bottom of the pot to the top of the leaves there, this morning was 12 inches. And this one, as you can see, really, the tallest leaf there is pretty much the same way. So, we actually took them down and put them on the shelf behind the counter where they were so the light is not as direct on them. It still is on them, but they're a little further away. So, that's, that's, that's good if we can get them or keep them alive until they go into their bigger pots and go outside. I mean, today is April the 1st and it's a couple of degrees Celsius, big snowflakes, which of course just amounts to rain, really, but it's cold, damp day. And we're looking at nearly two months before they can go outside. So we're hoping and praying for good weather. Also, the other day, I went out and I bought one of these trays Michelle wanted. There's 10 of these little pots in there. We're gonna actually probably today plant some just garden flowers because they're pretty, they're nice. So that's one of the projects for today. I, I won't make a video of that. Maybe when they start up, I'll show you that. We've got a whole lot of stuff growing here. A lot of stuff and some stuff is just peeking out some of the stuff some of the little uh, peat pots that the cat vandalized they're starting again I'll show you one this is another little tomato plant there's four of them that have come up in that I didn't even know that I planted four in there but that's one the cat had pulled out and vandalized so that was only a week ago so they're doing really well, extremely well. Maybe it was two weeks. Maybe it was two weeks. So I just got back a few minutes ago. I ran out and I got a couple of bags of potting soil for the flowers. Also, stove top was on sale. So I picked up eight boxes of that. We, we eat a fair amount of it and it's on sale. I got it for a dollar 27 today and Right now, ordinarily, the regular price at Walmart is $1.97. They had it at Giant Tiger, but it was all just turkey stuffing, so we don't eat that. I picked up two packages of these puff pastries. We're going to make a sausage roll, and probably I will be showing that. We made a, a batch the other night, and they're just over-the-top delicious. They're really easy and I think they would freeze very well. So I got two pastries. These are the butter puff pastries. I got two of them and we're gonna make some so that we can have them in the freezer. So I just put them back in the fridge so they will stay cold until we're ready to use them. Also, Easter next weekend. So we've got to get some Easter cards in the mail Monday. So I picked up these. Uh, now, some of you, maybe all of you by now, have heard of a shopping site called Temu, T-E-M-U. 
Um, I have it as an app on my phone. Michelle does as well. They want to be competition for Amazon, and Amazon could use some competition, and that's a good thing. Now, so we ordered a few things just to see what they would be like. Now, I think that everything came from overseas. I'm not 100% sure, but as you track it, it shows up in Halifax. So I suspect that that's where it touched down. Prices are pretty crazy. Now, Michelle said, Kevin, talk slow and I can put the prices up. So, if I'm talking slow, that's why. I wanna say, I ordered two things and one of the things I ordered which I don't have here because I took it and put it in the truck. That's where it's going to stay. I needed a new hard hat. I just needed a new one. I hardly ever have to put it on, but when I get to a place that requires one, you got to have one. So some places you go, they'll give you one, but then you get into that whole who had it on last thing, right? So as I said, it's just a hard hat, but it's a pretty decent one and it will certainly do for what I need. And it was $13.88 because Michelle got a discount. I think it was regularly $18, which is a, it's a good price. Also, I got a new headlamp. Toys for boys, right? This is incredibly bright. I won't even shine it at the camera. It's rechargeable and it is it's incredibly bright the only thing that i'm not crazy about is these straps they are literally let out as far as they'll go but now of course when you go on that site and you if you punched in a headlight like that a headlamp or whatever you obviously you get car headlights but whatever you have to punch in to get to these there's all kinds of them so you could probably find them there with longer straps but it is incredibly bright I am pleased with it so far um, yeah so and it was $13 almost $14 with that discount that Michelle got now as I said we were kind of trying it out to see what kind of quality the stuff would be some of the stuff is literally so cheap that the quality might be suspect. And then there's things that are, are a good deal, but you can just tell you're an educated shopper. So one of the things that Michelle got is this, a tamagoyaki pan. And I'll tell you what, this is really good quality. Aluminum on the bottom, it's this almost, well, it's ceramic of some sort. A lot of the channels that Michelle watches on YouTube, people are cooking with these. They have pots and pans of all shapes and sizes and they're using these. She got this one and I made tamagoyaki this morning and it was really, really good. And obviously you can use this pan for all kinds of things. And of course, the thing that popped into my mind was a couple of hot dog buns, which would be perfect for Michelle and I, right? We could toast them. Uh, but it is a really good quality and she will put the price up and it was a really good price as well. So she got that. Also, this little thing, while it looks a little funny it is actually a device you use to clean the microwave put vinegar in this and some water whatever the ratio is Michelle knows and then you put it in the microwave and heat it up for however long and it'll steam in there and then you just wipe the microwave out this little thing here is a toothpick holder you put your toothpicks in obviously and Shake them out, that hole on the top. I gotta put some toothpicks in it and see if it works. Then she ordered a few little girly things, and I don't blame her a bit. That's just a coaster, it's a cat. And then two of these little rose coasters. 
know what you would put on them, like maybe even just a candle or something. And then there's this little bamboo thing. It's a coaster as well. She was just ordering a variety of little things to see how it worked out. She got this little notepad. We both use notepads quite a lot in our devotions and stuff like that. We take notes and whatnot, so she got herself one. Hopefully I'm going slow enough that she can put these prices up. And then she got a package of these little things here. She had said she thought they were gonna be bigger than what they were or what they are, but um, like for making little dumplings or pierogies or something like that, obviously they just pack them in one side or whatever and fold it over and there you go, right? So we'll try them at some point. She got this, a little pencil case for herself. It's challenging for her. She does her devotion and whatnot lying down. And if you've ever been lying down and you lay something down, man, stuff disappears in a hurry. So she figures if she has this, her pens, her pencils, her highlighters, whatever she's using will stay handy. This, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little tiny wooden spoon, probably most likely for spices. Anything that's in a small bottle, right? Or dry mustard, anything like that. Should come in quite handy. And a few little pieces of just stationery here. She still corresponds with her grandmother, who is 98, I think going to be 99 tomorrow, or Monday, sorry, Monday, April the 3rd, 99 years old. So, yeah. Just a little tiny cutting board here. It would work for whatever, I guess. It would take quite a bit to cut it. These right here are bag clips for whatever. And she said she's gonna give half of them to our daughter. She got this type here. And they probably, I don't know whether you can see that or not. Uh, too close, a little cat paw there. Um, yeah, she's gonna give half of them to Kaylin. And then there's these ones here. She also, I guess, she got them early. They came on their own uh, package of highlighters, pastel colors. They're kind of neat. Little uh, stainless steel hooks. I guess you can't even see them there. I'll have to open them. And what these are for, you can see them a little better there now. Package in a package. We have the wire shelves in our storage room, our pantry. Just hang these up and you could hang anything like even this, right? And hang it off the pantry shelf. So that's what they, they are for. And these, they're in a package too. These are parchment paper. They are the shape of a pie dish and they are for the air fryer. So that you can, we ordinarily, not with everything, but with some products or some things that we're going to make in the air fryer, cut a piece of parchment for the bottom. What with these, you just throw this in, it fits, and lay whatever you're heating in the air fryer in that. So I think that is, oh, I also got two of these complete kit, the seeds, a little uh, peat starter in there for strawberry plants. Got two of them and another one of these for mini tomatoes. Now, if all of the tomatoes, are, if our plants, the bulk of them survive, we are going to have a lot of tomatoes. And the Romans, obviously, we're going to try to make sauce out of them and then that will be canned. Uh, if we have extra, we will certainly give them away. There's lots of elderly people here in the building that would use tomatoes, produce. So we're just having a little bit of fun with it. 
There will be some things that turn out to be a fail for us, I'm sure, but there will be some things and there's pretty obviously going to be some things that do okay. Also, I want to mention, Michelle had ordered a planter, a shelf, a tiered planter, it's got five tiers. I have to assemble it. It is here. It's in a box and it's kind of a nondescript box. You wouldn't know what was in it. So when I take it out of the box and start to assemble it or when I do assemble it, I'll make a video of that and it's going outside. So it should give us quite a bit of space. She has some planters coming for the tomatoes and they'll be here just any time. Maybe when they come and it's time to assemble that shelf, I'll do that and make a video of that. So this might be all you see of this video right now. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to show you. I am going to do a video and probably gonna do it today. I'm not sure when it'll go up, but the Q&A. We've got lots of good questions and I've got to, like more than I can answer in one video. So if there's, you know, questions that have been asked a lot, the same question, I'll certainly answer those. And then there might be a few more interesting or odd little questions that people have asked that I can answer and I will answer. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I just want to say, if you manage to suffer through this whole video, thank you very much. I uh, appreciate you, each and every one of you. And very shortly here, we're going to get to baking. So, or cooking. We've got to have our food for the week. I got a roast in the oven right now. We're going to have a traditional roast beef dinner. Not crazy, but you know meat, potatoes, and a vegetable. That's what I grew up on. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. This is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband, saying God bless and bye for now.